enough, Crane. Crane? Who's Crane? You're going back. Arkham? Never. is back in Arkham. Everyone is back at Arkham. All the serial killers, rapists, and the homicidal maniacs, including Crane, even Falcone. Everyone, except for one. The one with the calling card? Yes, Lieutenant. It's Commissioner now. That's right. Loeb. If it wasn't for that lunatic, Psycho, I'd still be a lieutenant. And Loeb, he'd still be. Never mind. We gotta take him down and fast. We will. Stand back. Batman. One other thing. Meet me here tomorrow. Early. How early? Daylight. 6 p.m. You know I don't work in daylight. It's the only time he is available. There's someone I want you to meet. Someone that can help. He's our new assistant district attorney. You probably read about him in the Times. Princeton graduate. His name is Harvey Dent. Bruce, it's been a long time. That it has. Back at Princeton, nailing those textbooks, huh? Boy, didn't we have some good times, though, Bruce? Yeah, we did. Ah, well, Harvey, I gotta hand it to you. You came all this way, and now it's finally paying off, Assistant District Attorney. Congratulations. Congratulations to you, too. Fifty years. Wow. And being Assistant DA is what I, myself, always wanted to do. Well... DA, actually. That's what I'm aiming for. Well, it's always good to aim high. Yes, but I'm happy with this for now. And, you know the DA... Rachel Dawes. You two know each other? Yeah, I know her. We used to play together as kids. Anyways, you were saying? Well, she's been so nice to me and all. It's just the fact that she's a woman. <laughs> giving me orders. It's just kind of ironic. What's so ironic? Uh, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> Hi, Bruce. Rachel. Look at the time. I got a meeting. Harvey, before you go. Here. You still collect coins, right? I do. Occasionally. Come across a rare coin now and then. That's a rare Egothemus Unum coin. They went out of print nearly 200 years ago. It could also double as a nice decoration for your office. I know. She's a beauty. Look, I'm um, sorry I didn't get you anything. Oh, it's no problem. I gotta be going. As a matter of fact, 
I've got some personal issues to attend to. Yeah, right, you playboy. Thanks. Alfred. Sir. Listen, Gordon has a meeting. Well, Master Wayne, have you lost your mind? The guests. I know, I'm sorry. Look, maybe this party was a bad idea. May I remind you that this is the 50th anniversary of Wayne Enterprises, your... your father's company. Fine. I'll be back soon. And then we can all continue. Ugh. The guests, sir. <laughs> Come on. Tell them that funny... That, that funny joke you know. There you go. some business to attend. I see. Well, uh, will you tell him that I'll be leaving then? Can I offer you a ride? Oh, no. I, uh, brought me home. Very well. Thank you, Belle. Anyway, doesn't come out in the daylight, does he? He's late. Actually, he's right on time. Now that you're both here, I'll start. There's been seven double homicides to date, making it a total of 14 murders. They have all been linked to a certain Joker card killer. We're calling him this for one sole reason. At the scene of every crime, he leaves us a Joker playing card. This is getting really out of hand. Each killing is more important than the last. His most recent? Commissioner Loeb. Only God knows who's next. It could be me, or it could be you. Anything to add? As I said earlier, we will bring him down. Soon. <laughs> Anything to add? No. Nothing. Nothing? My skin does peel, but it's back in the morning. I don't want you to be intimidated by me. I'm one of you. I'm here to help. Rachel Dawes and I will not stop until this Joker is put behind bars! <laughs>
Damn it, Gordon. Dent. There's nothing I could do, Alfred. Only if it would have been at night. Maybe. Just maybe. Time, Bruce. Yes. Sorry about that. I'm sorry about this. Sir, I'll be in the car. Well, Harvey, you got what you wanted. You're district attorney now. True. Boy, am I glad. Oh, uh, not under these circumstances, of course. You! Bring in my camera now! Yes, sir. <laughs> and now, a special report from Gotham City's new district attorney, Harvey Dent. Ooh, this is gonna be good. As Gotham's new district attorney, I promise to bring down the Joker once like the name. for all. Fifteen dead from this lunatic in Gotham City is enough. And it's time for us to take action. And this so-called Batman that the citizens of Gotham look up to is not doing anything constructive in the effort of bringing down this madman. His killings have gone from petty gas station workers to the commissioner of our police force, and now most recently, the district attorney. There was a reason for all! This man has to be stopped at all costs! All I need is a decent cop to bring him in, and I will prosecute! Now that I am the district attorney... I have the power of doing just that. I'm done. I'll bring this clown down even if I have to fight with my bare fists. Uh, when do you want me to stop, sir? What? You're still recording! You... I told you to stop! I'm going to rip out your heart! It's off, it's off. Harvey! Take it easy. Ooh, bad temper. Well, if a fight is what you want, a fight is what you'll get. <laughs> Sorry, Bruce. I don't know what got into me. Harvey, be careful. Dad, you have to be so hard on me.
It's you! The Joker! Why are you wearing makeup? <laughs> I wish it was makeup. <laughs> then what's wrong with your face? Oh, the... It is a long story. <laughs> You're insane! How dare you! Although everyone seems to be saying that these days... <laughs> I can't blame you! What do you want? Oh, it's, it's not too much to ask. You... dead... <laughs> you really are insane. I'm a man of my words! your dad. Why? Why do you care about my father? Tell me, or I'll kill you. As a kid, my dad would abuse me. He would get drunk and hit me. I want to do something about it, but I couldn't do anything. I would get so angry at times, but there's nothing I could do about it. Well, that is just too bad now, isn't it? <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not funny! Well, it does strike my funny bone! <laughs> Why the bad temper? It's not your business. I'll make it my business. A doctor is saying that it's repressed memories from my childhood that are surfacing now. My dad had something to do with it. Well, let's go and cry about it now. <laughs> Stop laughing, you scum! <laughs> Stop funny! Don't touch me! I don't know where you've been! <laughs> I love the name you gave me. I think it's going to stick. 